In today's tutorial, we're going to discuss how to convert HTML to PDF in Node.js without Puppeteer. Hello, developers. Welcome. Today, we're going to discuss how to convert HTML to PDF in Node.js. But here's the twist. We're not going to use Puppeteer. We're going to use Iron PDF Library. So let's jump in, and I'll show you exactly how we do it. All right, so first things first, let's make sure that we have the Iron PDF Library installed. And I'm using the command npmi at ironsoftware slash ironpdf. And remember, if you haven't installed the Iron PDF binaries yet, now is the time to do so. All right, great. So with Iron PDF installed, let's dive into the code and see how it works. Our first step is importing the necessary modules from Iron PDF. This involves bringing in PDF document and the Iron PDF global config from the at ironsoftware slash ironpdf package. Next, we set up the Iron PDF global configuration, which is crucial for the proper functioning of our code. Here, we input the license key to the Iron PDF config object. All right, so now let's move into creating our first PDF. We're going to start with something very basic and straightforward. We're going to use a simple HTML string, a basic HTML heading tag, uh, which we're converting into a PDF. We use the PDF document dot from HTML method, uh, passing our HTML string as the argument. And then we save the document using the save as function and specifying the output PDF as our file name. So next we're gonna handle a little bit more of a complex task and that's turning a web page into a PDF. So this is where Iron PDF really shows its versatility. We use the PDF document dot from URL method uh, providing it with the URL. And just like before, we use the save as method to save the document. And this time we're going to name it output from url.pdf. And the last thing we're going to explore is how to convert an HTML to a PDF. This is particularly useful when working with offline HTML files and when you're working with more complex HTML structures saved in files. The process is same to our first example, but instead of using an HTML string, we're going to be using an HTML file. We employ the PDF document dot from HTML method again, uh, but this time we're gonna pass to the path of our HTML file. And this method converts our HTML into a PDF document. So as always, we're gonna finalize the process with the save as method, uh, saving our new PDF as label.pdf. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run our code. Go to the terminal and type node.js-pdf-reader.js and watch as the code executes. Okie dokie, so the code is executed successfully and our PDF should be ready, so let's take a look. So first up is the PDF created from our HTML string and notice how the formatting of the text is preserved in the PDF format. So now moving on to the label.pdf file and this one was generated from an HTML file named uh, label.html. Look how the elements from the HTML file are accurately reflected in the PDF. Everything looks good. And lastly, check out the PDF created from a web page URL. And here you can see how Iron PDF captures the entire website and renders it into a PDF pretty much flawlessly. The layout, the images, and text, all from the web page are here, just as they appear online. So these are the three PDFs generated using Iron PDF and Node.js. Everything from a complex HTML string to a full web page, Iron PDF can knock it out pretty simply with just a few lines of code. All right, we hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like some more useful tutorials from Iron Software. And if you're interested in getting started with Iron PDF with Node.js, you can go ahead and sign up for the trial. It's on our website. Click it, download, install the package. The link is in the description. Check it out for yourself.